big, beautiful, loving planet called Earth. I, I want to talk about organization, cleaning, and completing things in today's vlog. Look, I understand that I may not be the most organized and the most clean person uh, in regards to having a nice area in my room to work in. For example, like, like, I know I have probably way too many drinks that I drink or way too many clothes lying on the floor or my, my closet may not be um, up to, to standards of individuals who want it to be a nice, clean, organized place. But I'm doing my best to make it more clean, make it more organized. Um, and it's not, just, it's not just about being clean uh, on the floor in my room. It's about being clean on my body as well. I, I know taking showers every two days is probably not the most ideal way of doing things during a week, but here's the fact of the matter, is that I like doing it that way, for myself personally. Now, that doesn't mean every single person is going to be the exact same way about cleanliness and hygiene and things of that nature. There are individuals who probably don't take showers um, at all in a week, or they take maybe two showers a week, or maybe they take a shower every single day. Um, and that's great. Let them do that. But, you know, me personally, I do things differently. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to be maybe not completely clean, but at least partial or mostly clean and mostly organized. Now, I still have a lot of work to do to make sure you know, everything that I have, whether it's books, whether it's um, clothes, whether it's whatever it is that I have that may not be completely clean and organized, I get it clean and organized in my own way and in my, at my own pace. Um, and I love to read. And I love to, to think outside the box just a little bit, but not completely outside the box. Um, but yeah. That's part of what I wanted to discuss in today's vlog, which brings me to my next point. You know, last night I finished watching Modern Family. I finished the last seven episodes or five or six episodes I had left of Modern Family, which means that I probably will not watch that show again, maybe for a long, long time or ever. Um, and I'm getting very, very close to finishing Nature of Middle Earth. And we're getting close to we're getting close to finishing the um, the fifth Harry Potter uh, film. Even though I just started it, we're getting closer to finishing that. You know, it's all about and that goes back to organization. Once I once I complete these things and put them away, I probably will never read that book again. I probably will never watch. I'll probably watch those movies again, but it'll be a long time before I do. Um, and I've watched them a bunch of times. In any book that I, I read, whether it be The Nature of Middle Earth, whether it be The Maze Cutter, whether it be War and Peace, whether it be The Walking Dead Companion Number 4, whether it be the um, Shadow and Bone series, whether it be the Percy Jackson series, those once I'm done with those books and once everything is done, I probably will not pick those books up again. And my, uh, or at least not for a very long time. I like to read new books uh, that are out there that want to me to be read. For example, the next books that I want to read are Iron Flame and and books like that. And whenever George R. R. Martin comes releases another one of his books, and when the new um, Hunger Games book is released about the second quarter quell, well, that book I'll probably get at some point in the future. You know. Glimmer's Game by Levin Raymond, who played Glimmer in the Hunger Games uh, movie. You know, things like that. Those are, those are things that I'm, or those are tasks that I'm willing to complete. And however long it takes me to complete or uh, finish or whatever it is that you want to classify it as, I'm going to do that. It may take a little bit of time to, to fully clean out my closet and make sure everything is in an organized fashion. Whether it be the boxes for the Lego sets I have, the box for the the uh, PlayStation Five that I have, the shoe box that I have that has some important stuff in it, 
cleaning those out, maybe getting rid of those boxes. Not getting rid of all of the boxes, but I just want to have it in a nicer way because it's kind of cluttered a little bit. And it's okay to have a little bit of clutter in your life. Not, not complete clutter and not complete mess, but just a little bit of clutter is okay from time to time. Now, like I said, it's going to take me a little bit more time to figure out how I'm going to make sure that the closet ha is, is up to the standards that I want it to be at and this room to be the standards I want it to be at. But it'll get there at some point. You know, uh, having all of the Lego sets that I, have, that I have on like a shelf or something somewhere in my room would be nice. Um, even though I don't know if I'm good, the, the Hogwarts castle I have that's sitting, been sitting on my desk, that will stay there for a while. You know, the Grimwald place, I'd like to have a shelf somewhere in this room that I can place it, as well as the, um, the Star Wars related ones that I have completed and ones that I'm going to have to complete at some point by getting the pieces to complete it. All of that plays a factor in making sure my closet's organized. And maybe we clean out some of the shirts that I have that I don't wear. Because I have a bunch of shirts that I have that I sometimes don't wear. And getting into, you know, all of the organization things. I mean, I probably have long sleeve shirts that I probably will never wear. Um, that I've got for Christmas and birthdays and things of that nature. And sweatshirts... And don't get me wrong, maybe if I were ever to go to a cold place during the winter time, maybe I'd wear those, uh, wear two or three of those. But where I live right now, we don't get those winter like, uh, uh, those um, snow like winter days. We don't get those, sure, it, it rains and everything, but that's what sweatshirts and jackets and things of that nature are for. Um, but. Maybe someday we I go to a place like that during the winter time and I have to wear, you know, long sleeve shirts and thing and stuff of that nature. But I'm ranting for far too long here about organization, cleaning, completing th completing uh, books and movies and TV shows and all that stuff. Eventually, I will get done with everything that I need to get done with at some point in my lifetime. We'll just have to wait and see how those things uh, happen to go. But we've got two birthdays to wish, so I want to get into that. I want to wish uh, Jen McAllister a happy birthday and Matt King a happy birthday today. And that does it for birthdays today. We have um, no birthdays on on YouTube tomorrow, but there's a couple on Instagram that I got to wish as well. So with that being said... I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog and bye bye.